Hi everyone, thank you for watching the video. Today, I'm going to show you uh, two updates. One is now you can set the follow-up prompts so that after you summarize the content with language models like a touchy video or Claude, and you can click, just click you know, the follow-up prompt so that you can keep continuing the conversation. And the second one is PDF summary. And let me uh, dive into it. So assume you have uh, installed the, the YouTube summary Chrome extension now. Uh, you know, it works on Chrome, Brave, uh, Edge, Opera, and, and so on. So please install uh, the extension first. Then, as you know, if you go to the YouTube video, then you will see this small widget so that you will see, you can see the transcript of the video and also summarize the content like this. This is, you know, the, the, the previous function. This was previously available. Then now, uh, you know, you can choose, also you can choose the language models. Like you can use GPT 3.5, 4, or Anthropic Cloud. And also you can select, you know, languages you want to use. And, and also we updated the, the custom prompt so that now you can put the multiple lines so like, you know, precise or whatever, and uh, you can put it. Then, so here uh, we have a follow-up prompt now. And this, you know, follow-up prompts will be shown near the, the prompt inbox. And when you click the, the, the button to summarize the content, you will go to either ChatGVD or Anthropic Cloud. There you will see like the small box so that you can keep the conversation. Let me, let me show it. And then you can set any, you know, any follow-up prompts as you want. Sometimes you want to create the, the post or tweet about the video, article, PDF, and like, you know, create a, a post about this content. And sometimes you want to apply the learnings uh, to your life, your business, whatever. So how, Let's say, let's set up, uh, how can I apply the lessons uh, to my life or business? And sometimes you want to learn, like you want to know what to learn next. So, okay, what to learn next? So now, so if you refresh, you know, it, it, it automatically saved. Then now you set three, like a follow-up prompt. And then if you go to the the, the, the video and if you click the, the view AI summary and then it opens ChatGPT and starts summarizing the content and now you will see this the follow-up prompt like uh, create a post about this content how can I apply the lessons and, and what to run next so let's say if you click it and it automatically you know uh, uh, put the, 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 the prompt you know for you so it creates a post for you. And you can ask, you know, how can I apply the lesson to my life? And blah, blah, blah. It's great. And what to run next? So that we hope it this helps you learn better and easier. And hopefully this helps your, your learning process, something like that. And then let's say if you use uh, Anthropic Cloud and personally, I've been using Anthropic Cloud because that can handle like a up to 100K spoken context windows, meaning like it's about up to like 75,000 words. And in case of ChatGPT, due to the, the word limitation, you cannot, let's say, you know, if you are watching two hours video, five hours video, you know, in case of ChatGPT, you cannot put everything here due to the, the limitation of the context window. But in case of Anthropic Cloud, that can handle, you know, most of the case, you know, that can handle the whole uh, content. So, you, it, meaning like you won't miss the details. So it can cover the whole context. So let's hit the view AI summary again, so that it takes you to uh, cloud.ai and it starts summarize the content like this. So you will see 
the, these uh, follow-up prompts here. Then, in case of, you know, if you are summarizing the very long content, it takes time to get the first results uh, compared to ChatGPT because it, it covers the whole content, the, the, the context. Uh, but now, you know, after you got the first, you know, response, and you can click, you know, your follow-up prompts as you want. Let's see, let's wait a little bit. Okay, great. So then if you click this, uh, you will see, you know, you can easily uh, ask uh, the, the next prompt as you want. And uh, yep, how can I apply this? Uh, lessons in my life for business. Great, so you get this, you know, like, uh, yeah, key lessons and then, yeah, you get some advice like this. And great, so this is how the, the follow-up prompts work uh, with YouTube summary extension. And now, now let's uh, move on to the PDF summary. So if you, you know, now you can summarize a PDF summary, uh, PDF files too. So actually you can summarize web articles too. And, and then if you, you know, open the PDF files, then you will see this small, uh, like a uh, icon on the top. So that clicking here, uh, you can summarize the, the, the PDF file, the content. Like this. Yeah. And again, depending on the, you know, the, the, the content, you know, the length of the content. So sometimes it takes time, but usually like up to three to five seconds, I think. Yeah, again, and you can ask anything like, you know, you know, this time I can ask what to run next. So that the, the language model, you know, suggest you some, some ideas, uh, what you should learn next. And you can set, you know, any follow-up prompts, you know, sometimes maybe you want to ask them to create HTML file, I don't know, like a comment to the video or yeah, anything. So, yep. So this is how, you know, this is the, the these are the updates that we made. So, and hope this helps your learning process. And then please let us know if you have any question or feedback and we want to improve uh, the, the, the product uh, over time. So but anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.